All right, what's up guys? So I just had a shave and I don't know if you can tell, but um, I nipped myself in a few places, which is probably perfect for this video. This might be a good opportunity to see how um, a dinged up face reacts to this, which is a new aftershave that I recently purchased. So we're gonna check this out. Uh, this is Zingari Man uh, aftershave balm. This is called the Traditionalist, this, I guess, variety. It's uh, sandalwood, musk, and pepper. And um, it's a kind of an alcohol-free type of uh, aftershave balm or cream. Formula, formulated for freshly shaved skin. This alcohol-free formula contains witch hazel, which will help soothe irritated skin. The white willow extract is a mild uh, astringent, and it's made with ultra lightweight metafoam oil to replace moisture. Oat oil provides a high uh, ceramide that is ultra hydrating, softening, and leaves a silky feel. Using this aftershave balm will leave your skin soothed, soft, and irresistible. So we're going to give it a try. Um, I haven't uh, delved into this since I purchased it. I have no idea what it smells like. You might hate it. You'll be the first to know. It does come with a pump uh, bottle, which is kind of cool. It's not pumping yet. Here we go. So it gives you kind of small squirts. <clears throat> I think I've got enough for my whole face here. We'll see. Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I definitely detect the witch hazel. It feels great going on the skin. It's very creamy. I do detect a little bit of sandalwood and the pepper. The musk is more subtle. But overall, this feels pretty good going on. It definitely feels very moisturizing, which I like because most of the aftershaves that I've used in my life do not moisturize. They basically are bracing alcohol aftershave splashes that, I guess, tighten your skin up, but they also dry it out. Um, and they don't really make your skin feel cared for, nurtured, or moisturized after a shave. And this is a refreshing change. Yeah, definitely smell the, the black pepper and the sandalwood. Hmm. It's growing on me. <laughs> when I first put this stuff on and first smelled it, I was like, mm, I don't know about this. But it is growing on me. And whatever doesn't end up on my face, I can rub out on my often dry hands because I work in a hospital and I wash my hands all the time, probably more than any normal person should wash their hands, but there you go. So I'm gonna say I'm pretty impressed with this for my first use. I'm glad I got this instead of the, I was just gonna get an alcohol-based bay rum, which is what I usually get. And, you know, I, I love bay rum, but um, I really, really like this. I love the way this makes my skin feel. It smells good. Uh, it has, it has a scent, I don't know how to explain this, but it, it's 
neither an old school vintage scent nor a modern scent. It's it's kind of in between. It's it's got a little bit of an old school vibe, but using more modern fragrances, it seems like, if that makes sense. It doesn't smell like a cologne or a modern aftershave, but the types of scents that are in it are more of the types of scents you would find in a modern cologne. But the way they put them together <laughs> is more like an old school um, aftershave. So it's kind of cool. Um, I like this. Um, it is crafted by hand. I don't know if you can see that on there. And it looks to be made in USA, Evansville, Indiana, USA. Singari, man. Check these guys out. Um, this stuff's pretty cool. I am going to continue to use this. They have some other uh, varieties also that I may try in the future as well. So you probably haven't heard the last of Zingari Man or me. Thanks for checking in. Uh, hit the like button if you like this video. I'll catch you guys later. I'm going to hit the hay. Um, thank you. God bless.